Hello everyone, welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we are going to see about HDR for YouTube, how to do and some of the trips and tricks and some of the things which you need to know. Okay. So without a further ado, let's begin. After you launch or create a project in Resolve database, you will re- you'll be redirected to the cut page. From the cut page, you can click on the gear icon, which is in the bottom, which is project settings. From here, you need to configure your resolution. Well, the preferred resolution will be 2K or 4K because there are two codecs which are playing back from the YouTube servers. Okay, one is AVC and one more is VP9. Okay, VP9 is a great codec and much higher quality than AVC. So, prefer going to VP9. Okay. You can upload HD videos, no issues with that. But problem lies between the quality what you are seeing and what is going over there. So retain, so to retain everything, just push it to 2K or 4K. Okay, let me tell you some here. Preferably choose 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. If you are going with the cinematic cinemascope look, then I have some settings. Okay, this is for the 4K one. Rather than going 4K, uh, this one. 4096 into 1716 do this instead 3840 into 600 okay that will be much better okay rather than going little bit extent because there might be some issues okay from processing to database something like that we can do 8k and 12k just upload is there you cannot really play back okay I don't know, in future, 12K might be available for playback also. Okay. Now, in timeline frame rate, you can choose whatever you want. 59 or 30 or 24, anything. Okay. It depends upon you. For montages, they usually prefer 59.94 or 60. For normal video, like entertainment and all, they usually prefer 30 FPS. Normal cinematic is 23.99 or 24. Okay. I'm going to choose the 59.94, okay? Okay, and one more thing. This HDR thing depends upon your monitor, okay? If your monitor supports HDR 10 plus or 10, like that, okay? Actually, your phone is also an HDR 10 compatible. Most of the phone, Samsung phones, I know. And even uh, iPhones, so, okay? So you need to be check a check a bit, okay? What is it your device? And you can have your monitor as an external display, okay? Which I have linked somewhere below. I card, yeah, I card, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and it will be in the description also, okay? So these are the two things, okay? You can use your, or if you wanna have clear data and all, then use a HDR10 plus monitor, okay? Or 10, okay? Then for the video monitoring, if your display is compatible with 4K or it's a 4K display, HDR, then you can go with 4K. Mine is an HD one, okay? So I'm going with HD. And keep the data levels to full. And if your display is HDMI uh, pushed, so then you can enable HDR metadata over HDMI, okay? And frame interpolation, okay? Why I am telling this because many users will record in 30 FPS. This is for montage people, okay? Or else, whoever is dealing with slow motion in their fix frame interpolation, okay? Here, read time process you can keep it to optical flow, okay? Like this, okay? Optical flow, which is a much better thing. If you are having an NVIDIA card or anything, then you can go with speed warp, which is. I guess it's in AMD and everything else was in the Linux. Also. I'm not sure, but it will be an option over here. Speed walk. Okay. That's actually much better than um, standard enhanced better. Okay. Motion range medium. Okay. If you are doing any kind of post slow motion work. Okay. Highly recommended. Okay. Even it's 23 FPS or 24 FPS from 59 or anything. Okay. Now let's go to the color management. Here is the all magic happens. 
okay color science so there are four color sciences one is davinci yrgb and yrgb managed and asus is cc and cct okay let me explain you the first two okay in brief there is a difference okay what color managed does means it will apply to all the clips okay even if you haven't added any node or anything little bit of configuration okay yrgb is just like it's there that's all your picture is how it's like that okay and asus as you know um, standard between images from actually saying even mobile support asus i didn't know that that's the first time i'm hearing asus from mobile yeah that's true asus is supported some editing applications in mobile supports asus okay you can bring it from there or blender or anything and compose it here that you can do it okay so for now we are just going to stick with yrgb color managed okay here in color management preset i'll be going to i'll be choosing hdr rec 2020 okay and in here i'll be choosing rec 2100 hlg okay in the output color space okay and enable hdr templates that's important okay okay and make it broadcast safe because it's going to youtube okay uh, there i'll be telling about noise reduction and everything at the end so stick around okay so you don't have an sd a uh, hdr display but you want to still grade it in hdr display okay but 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 you have a mobile so you can view it but in your monitor uh, yeah so what you can do is you can go to the color video actually let me tell you one thing this is 95 percent accurate other five percent you can mess it up okay so be careful okay video monitor lookup table here and you can go to hey, hybrid log gamma hlg 2.0 okay and color viewer table here 3d lookup to tetrahedral you can click on save now we can go to the edit page here let's create a new timeline okay let's just call it don't jump to conclusion as final okay this is test test and please name your timelines properly create a what is that called naming seek uh, naming convention okay for your timelines that would be much better even for videos and drafts and anything okay so we have done the timeline and after the project creation you can drag in the footages Okay, uh, let's take this uh, Medellin, uh, which is peaky, okay, which is kind of HDR, okay. So you can see it's flat. It's very much flat, okay. You can color it or anything. What you can do is after all your grading is done, you can go to HDR 10 plus and analyze all the shots. Okay, it will take some time. Okay, now the metadata is inbuilt. Okay, everything is there. Ooh, why are we forgetting some? If you are doing any power windows or tracking or anything like that, um, please don't do it the SDR way. Okay, like the applying monitor video LUT or anything like that. Don't do it. If you have an HDR monitor, use power grid or anything like that okay that is much better you'll know the difference how the regions separate well, like that okay minute details which you might miss out that and all you need to be very careful even the qualifier what color you are choosing what time that and all okay even the keying the ultra keyer the green screening that stuff and all okay Make sure you see through that, okay. Okay, now let's talk about exporting to YouTube, okay. As you can see here, we have the HDR sign in the bottom of the thumbnail. What is the best preferred codec? QuickTime or else MKV, okay. MP4 I have tried but so many times the result hasn't been such, such great. So yeah, for now I'll be choosing QuickTime, okay. Here what I'll do, 
I'll leave everything else. First, I'll click on embed HDR metadata. Okay, it will take all the metadata of the HDR10 and embed it in the video. Okay, somewhere in the video as a code. Okay, software developers, you might be knowing. Okay, and then data levels full retains a black and white data. Okay, nothing else to change. If you are having any subtitles, you can have it here as a separate file or else burnt in burnt in i actually don't recommend for youtube videos okay make sure you have an srt file and then upload it so then add to render queue render all <sighs> main point of the video was how to do hdr okay the setup color management you can add any clips into that and um, noise reduction is necessary when you have brighter or very darker image or in between those okay not the mid tones like shadows and the highlights not the specular and the dark okay for that and then from noise reduction done and resolution when you are setting that okay and exporting so these were the main things one video I had done before which was the editing of this which got actually corrupted okay no issues but you can watch the video now in my it will be in description and so I really don't know where the cards will be okay so it might be here here okay it will pop up now if you're watching in mobile then you have to just click on the three dots and check it out okay so you can watch there how I added the like oh, main how it was okay for okay, how it will be viewing you can you can go to that video and click on three dots and then uh, video uh, resolution and then advanced you can see the option over there 1080p 60 HDR like that if you're having an HDR Android mobile or else HDR on Edge or Chrome yeah so that will be the thing and you can see a specular highlight over here which is from my okay so thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe like share comment and actually subscribe please many people have not subscribed so yeah so meet you soon again